New York has Canal Street, LA has Santee Alley, but some anti counterfeiting groups say when it comes to fake goods, Amazon has them beat. As KCALMAN's Christy Fajardo found out, what arrives in that prime box may not be the real deal and it may even be dangerous. Look at how well these lifting straps work for carrying furniture. When Amazon picked up the forearm forklift, place your hands flat in front of you and lift. The owner, Mark Lopriato, thought his Baldwin Park business would be lifted into the multi millionaires club. This is a good quality product. But instead of a sales boom, there was a sales bust. Lopriato says his product suddenly started getting bad reviews, so he looked closer at the listings on Amazon and discovered this is not our listing. People were ripping off his product. This is rated each strap at 1,360 pounds. These are rated at almost 200 pounds. That's it. Not one, but dozens of fake listings on Amazon using the forearm forklift name, logo, even photos. This is my wife. This is me. It's devastating. I also paid for this name. They just steal the name. He says there are so many fake listings on Amazon, he now has full time employees weeding them out and dealing with Amazon's bureaucracy to get them taken down. We have to find them deep in their website. Then report them. Still, more and more days are passing. And then finally, they may or may not take down the listing. But it's not just the little guy. Apple, Birkenstock, even Mercedes Benz have warned about fakes on Amazon. The consumer watchdog group, The Counterfeit Report, says it's found more than 21,000 pirated products on the website, including items bearing fake UL ratings, which are only given to products that have passed rigorous safety standards. It could be a fire hazard in your home. Underwriters Laboratory showed us what can happen when fake products don't live up to the UL mark. Finding counterfeit, illegal, or even dangerous products wasn't hard. In fact, we did a search for baby portable car safety seat, and this popped up, so we bought it. Two days later, it arrived in a prime box from the distribution center in Nevada, but the product was made in China. We took it to a car safety expert. It is not safe because we do not know it's, if it's been cross-tested. James DeCarly says the seat was missing the labels, expiration date, and manufacturer information required by federal law. In other words, it isn't legal to use in any of the 50 states. I, mean, I would never put my child in here, or anybody's child. Critics say the problem started when Amazon opened up its site to third-party sellers, charging them for listings, warehousing, and delivering products on its marketplace. But the counterfeit report says the e-tailer isn't doing enough to vet them. Plenty are legit. Others, though, are not, including sham sellers from overseas, out of reach of U.S. law. The online giant has repeatedly argued it's not responsible for its third-party sellers, but tells us it has zero tolerance for counterfeiters, saying in a statement in part, quote, Amazon is investing heavily in protecting the integrity of the Amazon marketplace for consumers, sellers, and manufacturers. As for Lopriato's company, he says his struggles with Amazon and the counterfeit listings are crushing his business. We went from 52 employees a few years ago to uh, under a couple dozen and uh, millions of dollars uh, loss of sale. He believes unless lawmakers act, Amazon will continue to sell them out to ring up more sales. I'm not the only one suffering from this problem. It's hurting our country really, really, really bad. Chrissy Fajardo, KCAL 9 News. Amazing. I had no idea that was Neither out there. Neither did even. I. Really eye opening. Wow. wow.